From Hollywood, your radio theater. From Hollywood, California, for all of you men and women in the armed forces of the United Nations, Special Service presents your radio theater. And here is the director, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. We present the first act of Tom, Dick, and Harry, starring Ginger Rogers as Janie, with George Murphy as Tom, Alan Marshall as Dick, and Burgess Meredith as Harry. We're in the Strand Movie Theater, where the second feature of the evening is just drawing to a close. The hero and the heroine stand gazing deeply into each other's eyes. Come away with me, darling. I love you. No, John, no. You mustn't say that. Now the hero draws the heroine close to him. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Now the hero draws the heroine close to him and takes a long pause. Over there in the second seat off the aisle is Janie. And that's her boyfriend, Tom. The fellow trying to hold her hand. Janie is young and very pretty. Doesn't even know he's there. She's completely carried away by the hero's next to But you don't understand. I want you to marry me. Marry you? But, John, we live in two different worlds. You have money, position, everything. There's too great a gulf between us. Janie is scared now. Will the hero take her up on it? But no, he's only taking another pause. Darling, our love will build a bridge to cross that gulf. Oh, darling, I'm so, so happy. And so is Janie. The end. What's the matter, Janie? You won't even eat your soda. Hey, Janie. Hmm? What are you thinking about? The picture. Wasn't it swell? Janie. Do you think the movie was true to life? I mean, do you think a rich guy like that would marry a poor girl like that? Well, of course he would. He loved her, didn't he? Yeah. Well? Well, what? Well, of course. He loved her. Oh. Hey, Janie, how about if you and I drive out to Inspiration Point for a while, huh? Well, not tonight, Tom. Why not? No, I just want to talk to you. That's what you always say. No, honest, this time I really mean it. Just talk. Come on, huh? Well, okay. But remember what you said. Kind of crowded out here, ain't it? A lot of cars tonight. No. Uh-huh. Janie, I uh, I suppose tonight has seemed to you just like most any other night we've had a date together. Yeah. Well, it hasn't been. Oh, I may have been acting this time, but something happened today that changes everything. Hmm. Uh-huh. Janie, listen. Hello, how are you? I'm glad to see you. And what does everyone want tonight? Ice cream? Now, like a chocolate, vanilla, toffee, strawberry, bird diamond, Neapolitan, peach coffee, and all kinds of peppers. You left one out, mister. I don't think so, lady. Yes, you did. Let me see. Chocolate, vanilla, bird diamond. All right, all it. right. Break it up. Break it up, will you, brother? We came out here to be alone. We want to talk a little bit privately. There's people concentrating here in your study. I'm surprised at you. Ice cream, get your ice cream. Do me a favor and pick the flavor I got all kinds. Janie. He left oh. out the statue. Oh, Janie, listen to me, will you? Oh, yes, where are you? Oh, something happened yesterday. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, what do you think it was? I don't know. I closed the Archie Hamilton deal. Tom, you did. Yes, I did. 30 special sedans. Tom, that's wonderful. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's nothing. What do you think else? Huh? I got promoted. Again? Yep. Right after I closed the deal, Mr. Burton called me in his private office. Says, Tom, my boy, Burton Motors is proud to have you here with us, and we want you to know about it. And here it comes. Hang on. Uh, Get ready. Uh, he says, from now on, you are the assistant sales manager. Assistant sales manager? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, Janie, I was thinking yeah. you and I have been friends for a long time now. Uh-huh. Well... Janie, you don't belong in a telephone company getting up every morning and plugging in calls for people all day. You deserve something better, and I'm going to get it for you. Huh? Well, well, what do you say? <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? Oh, Janie, now don't make out like you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm asking you to marry me. Oh, Tom! No. No? Yeah, no. I don't mean no exactly. I mean, well, no for now. I think maybe we'd better think about it a little bit. Hello. Lady, you were right. I left out for Sacco. Are you in again? Will you get out of here? Please. What's the matter with your friend, lady? He's always yelling. 
You don't have to yell at me just because I'm a little obnoxious. A guy comes out to try and get a little private. Oh, now stop. Oh, all right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Isn't there any place in the world where a fella can get a little privacy? Turn on the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Well, good night, Tom. Night. You mad at me? No, oh, not exactly mad. I just don't understand what you mean. you got to think about oh, it. Oh, that's a pretty important step. I'm not sure yet. You want to marry a rich guy, is that it? Yes, I love him. But, Janie, I tell you, I'm going to be rich in another two oh, years. Oh, Tom, it isn't that. You probably will be rich. And maybe if you weren't, I'd marry anyway. Well, then what's the trouble? Nothing. I just want to think about it. Why? What good is it going to do to think about no. it? Oh, please say yes, Janie, please. You don't know what it means to me. I work my head off for you. I need you, Janie. I love you. I'd do anything. You do? I do what? Love me. Well, sure. Didn't I ever tell you? Uh-uh. Well, sure. I love you more than anything. Why, every time I think about you... You I... melt inside like a candy bar? Yeah. Oh, oh Janie, you got to say yes. you got to. I'll, uh, I'll commit suicide if you don't. How? How? How do I know how? Say, what are you trying to do? Drive me nuts? I'm not asking for a dance. I'm asking you to marry me. Well, you're going to put it like that. All right. You, you mean you will? Yes. Oh, boy. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to do that. It's just a... Oh, Janie. I'm sorry. Oh, Janie, you made me the happiest girl in the world. No, no, I mean, I hope you are because I am all more mixed up. I don't know what I mean, but you'll never regret this, Janie, never. You know what I'll do? What? I'll sell a million cards for you. Hear me, a million cards. I bet you will, Tom. Hey, it's getting late. I better get yeah. home. Hey, I gotta get up early, you know. But, Tom... Uh, will I see you Friday? Well, of course. Oh, Janie, if I could only tell you. If I could only... Yes, Janie. Oh, boy. Oh. Good night, Janie. Oh, good See night. you Friday. Eight o'clock sharp. Good night. Hello, dear. Hello, Mom. Did you have a good time, dear? Well, Hello, Pop. Hello, Janie. Have a good time? Well, guess I go to bed. What'd you see? Hey. Janie, your sister's talking to you. <laughs> oh, what'd you say, bud? What picture did you see? Oh, the one at the strand. Any good? Well, say, you folks want to hear some news? Tom proposed to me. No kidding. Tom proposed. What's more, I accepted him. Oh, Jenny, that's wonderful. What's more, I may even marry him. Good night. He gets more and more adolescent every day. Oh, um, that feels good, doesn't it, Janie? It sure does, Janie. I'm not tired. I won't sleep a wink. Good night, Janie. Go to sleep, Janie. I can't. Go to sleep. Pleasant dreams. But I'm wide awake. See? We gather here in the presence of these witnesses. Gather around with us. Where's that? Oh, the justice of the peace. He's going to marry you. Oh, he's not here. Of course he is. That's just a dream. Oh, it's dream. What a dream. There's the justice. Howdy, Janie. There's Tom. Hello, Janie. This is our wedding day, Janie. Oh, and folks, you, Janie, take this man to love, honor, and live happily ever after. No fair getting a divorce. I do. You, Tom, take this woman to love, honor, and sell a million cars as long as you both still live. I do. And I'll pronounce you a lovely couple. Boy. Ow. Oh, I didn't mean that. Here, here, no fair punching the bride. Say, wait, where's the vine-covered cottage? You can't be happy without a vine-covered cottage. Bring on the vine-covered cottage. There it is. But no child. What's a home without a child? Bring on a one-year-old toddler. Wow. Junior, now stop. Oh, here comes Daddy, home from work. Janie, Janie, what do you think? I was promoted. I'm Junior, Junior, executive, executive, sales manager, vice president. I got to sell a million of them. I got to sell a million of them. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dear. Yay. Ah. Another year has passed. Bring on another listen. Wow.
Everybody does not answer. I'll call you back. Oh, Jimmy, come on, tell me. You're not fair. If I had a secret, I'd tell you. Can't you wait a couple of minutes till we're off duty? Oh, I bet it isn't anything important at all. You're just trying to keep... When you hear the tone, the time will be 4.58. You're just trying to keep me on pins and needles. Maybe the way you hear this. This is on distance. I'd like to make a first first call in New York, please. Your call, please. Columbus 5, 0098. Columbus 5, 0098. I want to speak to Miss Brenda Whitney, Jr. Miss Brenda Whitney, Jr. Your name and number, please. Richard Hamilton, Jr. 496. Mr. Richard Hamilton. Jr. Oh, will you hold the line, Mr. Hamilton, or shall I call you? Now, hold on. New York, Columbus, five oh oh nine and eight. Gertrude, Gertrude, it's Augie Hamilton's son. No, excuse me. Yeah. wonder what he looks like. Did you ever see him? No, but I saw his car yesterday. You saw his car? Yeah, and you should have seen it about a mile long. Miss Brenda Whitney, Jr.? Miss calling. Go ahead, please. Gee, it was swell. I wonder what he's saying to her. Well, why did you listen, you dope? No, I don't think I'd better. Anyway, I'm engaged to Tom now. You're engaged? Mm. Is that the secret? Uh-huh. Well, me about it. What did he say? I don't know. He just asked me to marry him. Well, well, where well, were you? Did he kiss you? If you'd have been made, would you have said yes? Are you crazy? See, what's the matter with you? You talk like you aren't even happy about it. Well, of course I'm happy. What do you want me to do? Float? <gasps> Five o'clock. Let's bring I don't understand you, Jamie. After all, it isn't as though Tom wasn't handsome or something. And he certainly got plenty of personality. Is there anything wrong with him? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe he gets promoted too much. Well, now I know you're crazy. Look, Gertie. Look at that star up there. Starlight, star what first stars in the night. I wish you may, I wish I might. Have a wish, I wish tonight. What did she wish? You're not supposed to tell. Oh, go on. What did she wish? Mm, I wish I could meet a certain fellow. The one who just called New York, huh? Mm-hmm. Audrey Hamilton, huh? The one with the fancy uh-huh. car? Yeah, but... What chance is it? Hey, 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 Jenny, Jenny, look, look, there it is. 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 There Oh, yes, I'm fine. You know, you must think I'm somebody else. No, I don't. Have we met before? Well, sort of. What? I suppose you think I'm awful forward, but it's all on account of the stars. Account of what? You know, starlight, starlight, you know. Starlight, starlight? I live on Ice Beach next corner. Oh, that to the right? No, to the right. (laughs) It's a nice car. Well, trouble with cars like this is it's hard to get far. Oh, I guess. Sure. Mm. My house is the third house. All right. Mm Mm-hmm. I guess you think I'm awful. We'll probably never see each other again. You never will understand. When can I? Oh, well, I didn't mean that. No, I know, I know you didn't mean I'm just impulsive. Eight o'clock, all right? Oh, well, golly. Oh, this is my younger sister, Barbara. You mean Butch here? Yeah. We're old pals already. I'm with Butch? Yeah. Well, shall we go? I'll come home too early. He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Goodbye, Butch. So long. Oh, well, uh, where's your car? Why, do you mind walking? Oh, I'd love to. Good, I like to walk. Oh, I guess if you don't have to, you want to, huh? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't want to, you may have to. You might as well want to. Say, that's a nice dress. Oh, I'm glad you like it. My mother made it. Really? Yeah, it's her hobby, you see. You know, I'm sort of sorry it's so nice in a way. Why? Well, you see, you went to all this trouble, you and your mother, about yeah. the dress and all that, and, and to tell you the truth, I, I ran a little short this week. I only got a dollar eighty cents on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What? What am I laughing at? <laughs> well, weren't you driving down Main Street in that big car? Sure. Well, but that what, was one Did you think that that was mine? Well, wasn't it? No. I, I was just delivering it. I'm a mechanic down at Slater's Garage. A mechanic? Yeah, we pick up and deliver. Hey, what'd you do that for? That's for trying to pick me up. Wait a minute. I'm going home. No, wait a minute. I didn't pick you up. Is it my fault? That... Look, what's your name? Janie. Oh, well, mine's Harry. How do you do? How do you do? Listen, Janie, I, I'm really sorry about this. That's, that's all I can say now, you know. Why don't we go out anyway? 
I'll tell you what, I'll show you the best time you ever had in your life on a dollar eighty cents. Well, How about it? Well, you like movies? Sometimes. Come on. Well, how'd you like it? Well, it's not as good as the one at the Strand. The Strand? Oh, I saw that. That was awful. See, I bet you that that's where you got that idea. What idea? This idea that a girl can marry a millionaire. Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Roy. How's the boy? Well, why can't a girl marry a millionaire? Well, there's not enough millionaires. How many millionaires do you think there are? Oh, about a million millionaires. There are 9,653, and most of them are already married. Well, if they're married, maybe they got sons. No, the rich have a very low birth rate. But they do have sons. Little teeny ones. Little teeny ones. Come on, I'll buy you a hamburger. Oh, hamburger. Good guy. Oh, you can't explain everything by numbers. No, I didn't. You make it sound like a horse race. Well, that's what it is. got to figure the odds, you see? Well, sure, the odds against any two people meeting. After all, there's something like two billion people in the world, and if a girl meets any fella, it's an accident, isn't it? Yeah, but then... Well, is... there's no reason why the accident can't be a rich fella instead of a poor fella. You got a point there, brother. She's got a point. She's got nothing. Now, look, I'll tell you why. Now, the reason that the accident can't be a rich fella, see, is that the rich don't move in your circle. Well, why can't I move in their circle? Why can't she move in their circle? Yeah. Look, do you know the Hamilton? Yeah. Look, now, suppose they give a party. Do they invite you? No. No. Do they invite the, the hamburger man? No. No. Do they invite that girl over there? Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Mark. Hiya. You're darn right they don't. They invite people from their own circle. And if they run out of them in this town, they import them from other towns. Right? Right. 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 Come on, I'll take you bowling. Do you see, honest, you never get a chance to move in that circle. You get, well, wait, one chance in a minute. Yeah, but you... Yeah, do you want to bowl? I don't know how. I'll you show you how to bowl. How are you, Joe? What do you know? I never heard such reasoning in all my see, life. You can hold on to that ball. It just doesn't make sense. No, you put your two fingers can. right in there. You see your thumb there. That's yeah. it. Oh, that's... I'm heavy. I'm sorry, I forgot. Every day you read about girls marrying rich fellas. Every yeah, now, you day. Yeah, you hold it. I think you better take your shoes it's off. All books and it's all hey, a you magazine. Know, it's magazine. all a newspaper. You got the wrong room. clothes for bowling. I got the right clothes. I got the wrong fella. <laughs> Just as natural for a girl to want to make a good marriage as this for a fella to want to get ahead. Stand about here. This is all I would say to you now. Don't be ambitious. Don't try to be somebody. Don't try to be a success. I don't. What? Well, I swing it. You don't believe it? Success. I don't believe in it. Swing the ball. Well, I'm swinging it. Go ahead. One, two. to let go of the ball. You honestly don't believe in success? Nope. But why? Well, I don't believe in it, that's all. I don't believe in fighting and scratching and climbing over But you want to have money and you want to muck or something, don't you? Yes, I do, but I'm not going to kick people around to get it. That's all. I like people. Oh, so do I. Some of my best friends are people. Sure, that's it. And if ambition, see, if ambition means lying and conniving and, 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 and cutting people's throats, then it's not worth it. Well, here's your place. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, what is the answer, then? Being satisfied with what you have? No, I don't, I don't know. what. Well, I suppose the answer is to get ahead, all right, but without slugging everybody all the time. I don't believe in this every man for himself because I get along yeah. You know what I think? What? I think you're wrong. You do? You see, I've been going with a fellow named Tom. Yeah. Works for Brick Motor Self Cars. He's ambitious, and he's trying to get ahead, but he doesn't go around slugging. No, I No, don't. he doesn't. And he's a very nice fellow, and he's going to get someplace, too. I don't. Well, he is. And it just so happens that I'm even thinking of maybe marrying him, Stephen. What? Hmm. Maybe you may better marry me instead. Oh, now, well, you shouldn't say things like that. Why not? Why, I, I hardly know you. Listen, sometimes people know each other better in one night than they do in two weeks. They do? Sure. How about it, Janie? Huh? Look, I've been looking for the right girl for a long time, and Janie, you're wonderful. I am. You better, and if you say yes, I yes. promise you, you'll never be sorry because I'll, I'll take you fishing every day. Oh, I, I think we ought to know each other better before we discuss this. I tell you that further. I do know you, and I think maybe I'm in love with you. You are. When will you know? Shouldn't be long. Listen, I better go in. I, I, no, yes, no. Well, all right. After that, I better go in. Hmm. Yeah. What's well, like bells, like, like bells? Yeah. I suppose that was a church. No, there's no church on it. No. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. 
time now, and before we hear Act Two, let's listen to the sensational trumpet of Harry James. Ginger Rogers as Janie, with George Murphy as Tom, Alan Marshall as Dick, and Burgess Meredith as Harry. And goes to come, and goes to hide, and goes to come, and goes to hide, and goes to come. All night long, that great problem revolves in Janie's pretty head, tossing and turning in her bed. She dreams now of marriage with her brand new fiancé. Here comes the bride, and here comes the bridegroom, and here comes the justice dancing down the aisle. So, Janie, because I leave girls like you, the fellas like him, you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you? Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Judge. I now pronounce you married wife, and Janie, I think you're making a big mistake. Bring on the tumble down city. Daddy, where's the fine covered cottage? One year later, bring on that kid that looks like Harry. Harry, Junior, stop crying. Harry, Harry, Junior, I'm calling you. Well, just a minute, dear. I'm playing Jack. Harry, stop us. I can't stop now. I'm on my But aren't you going to work, Harry? Work, work. I don't believe in it. Are you, Pop? Are you, Harry? Two years later, another bundle of joy. Wow! Harry, go to the Jenny, Jenny, what do you think? I'm on Kenzie. Yeah. Let a year goes by. What do you say? <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, I got great news for you. I'll never have to go to work again. We can go fishing every 
every day. Why? But I just want the job. Yippee! Yippee! Well, it is, Jamie. Love and incentive. What do you think? I know now. I know now. Hello, Burton Motors. Oh, yes, Mr. Burton. This is Tom. What's that? Yes, Mr. Burton, I'm keeping the showroom open this evening. Yes, sir. I've got that little sedan right up in the front window. I thought that... Oh, uh, Mr. Burton, the prospect just walked in. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll call you later. Well, well, good evening. Good evening. Hello. And uh, what can I do for you this evening? Mm-hmm. Did you drop in to look over the new model? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Pretty pretty nice job. little job, isn't she? Best little car in the market. It's all right. Is your name Tom? Yes, it is. That's what I thought. Uh, did uh, someone refer you to me? Mm-hmm. No, I heard about it. Oh, I see. You heard, and you yeah. just dropped in to look us over. Huh? Look you over. Yeah. Well, that's very nice of <laughs> you. Very nice indeed. I uh, I don't believe I caught the name. I don't believe I threw it. Didn't show it, huh? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, my name's Harry. Harry. Well, Harry, was there anything particular you had in mind? Me? Mm, no. I well, don't. now, there's a little car over there. The finest yeah. thing on the market. And the most amazing thing about her is the price. Only $598. 598 is that delivered? Well, no, that's not delivered. That's uh, FOB Detroit. FOB, yeah. Yes, that would run you, let's see, uh, 732 delivered. 732. Wow, well, very nice bumper. Oh, there. do you like that? Mm-hmm. Well, I can arrange to have a set of those put on the car for you for just a few pennies extra. How many pennies would you say? Well, let me see. I said a model like this, completely equipped. I get it for your wholesale, of course. Yeah. It run uh, $886. 886 You mean that's the whole thing? That huh? is the whole thing, uh-huh. absolutely. Of course, that doesn't include the sales tax and your license plate. No, no, no. Look, how much does the whole thing cost, you know, all together? The grand total? The grand total? Grand total. Well, now, wait, I'll figure it for you. No fudging. No fudging. The whole thing, everything in... Fully equipped in your garage, and you'll be proud of her. Eleven hundred and seven dollars. Eleven hundred and seven. That's right. It's amazing. Well, after all, it's not what you pay; it's what you get. I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me give you a little demonstration? Right now? Why, sure. Why not? Friday night, great night to relax. Look, you got a date. I mean, you. I mean, haven't you got something you'd like to do? Well, I know. There's nothing that I'd like to do that's more important than making you a member of our little happy customers club. Say, you a married man? Not exactly. Well, uh. <clears throat> I bet you got a girlfriend, haven't you? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Why don't we show the car to her? Well, we'll drive out there, pick her up, and I'll take you both for a ride. Both of us? Why not? No, I don't think so. Oh, I, I don't... Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold no, on. No, no. After all, she's no. the one you want to please, right? No, yeah, but I... Well, it's a perfect night for a ride. You and the girlfriend climb a little old back seat no. there and just relax. I'll take you any place no. you want to go. This is not a good idea. Oh, now, hold on. Hold on. Wait just a second. I'll, I'll make you. a little phone call here and cancel a little appointment. Don't do it, will you, please? No, I don't want to inconvenience oh, Please, please. No inconvenience at all. It's all settled. We're all going for a ride together, okay? Okay. And, uh, listen, when we get there, I want you and the girlfriend to climb right in that little back seat and, you know, just forget that I'm here. You know what I mean? Forget that you're there. All right, she lives right along here someplace. Yeah. You notice the way she takes the bump? Mm-hmm. Hardly any vibration at all. Smooth as a kitten. Smooth. Here it is. Where? Right here, third house. The third house? Say, listen. Just a minute. Be right out. Hey, wait a minute. You sure this is the right place? Sure I am. Yes. Hello, Janie. Hello, what's this? Nice car, huh? This gentleman's going to give us a demonstration. Beautiful. It's all... What's the matter? Oh, that's... That's Tom. Yes, I know. It's the people I told you I've been going to study, you know. He talked his way into it. He's very forceful. Come on. Fine thing. I turn my head, you're out with another guy. Standing me up so you can show the people around fine things. Get in, Janie. Say, Janie tells me that you two know each other. Yes. Small world, isn't it? So-so. <laughs> Was there uh, any place in particular you wanted to go? No. Oh, yes. You might drive us to Inspiration Point. Inspiration. Okay. Very nice, Oh, why he doesn't punch his nose, I don't know. Like I told you. All I can say is it certainly shows a very mean streak in your character. I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I say, I beg your pardon. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to interrupt, but could I have just one little word Finley, in? Finley, what is it? Do you like the car? I love it. Uh, do you like it, Smith? Yes, it's fine. Are you enjoying the demonstration? Yes, it's been thrilling so far. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Please, it's over now. What's that? I say it's over now. What's the matter? Well, uh, this is inspiration point. Oh, it is. Oh, it's lovely. No, no lovely. No, thing. no, you don't seem to get the idea. This is the place you said you wanted to come to, isn't it? 
Oh, you mean you want us to get out? That's right, oh. that's right. Now you're beginning to get the idea. Hey, well, you come, my dear. Get out. Nice work, Thomas. Thank you very much, Harry. I'm always glad to bring young couples out here because I know how many memories a place like this can hold. Uh, excuse me, please. Uh, notice how solidly the door is closed? Now, any time you and the young lady have nothing better to do, I'll be glad to drive you around and show you any of the other points of interest. Good night. I don't like that man's attitude. He'll never get to be president. He's a sore head. I knew this had happened to me. I just knew it. I said to myself, I said, Jenny, I said, before this evening is over, you'll be walking. Oh, hello, how are you? And how is everybody? And what does everyone want tonight? Ice cream? Hello, Harry. How are you? How are you? How are you? Fine. How's business, Bill? Oh, terrible. People don't like me. Say, Harry, what are you doing out here without a car? It's a long story. Anybody I know around here? Why, you want a lift? Yes. I'm a... Hey, Mr. Hamilton. Mr. Hamilton, we're all set. Mr. Richard Hamilton, Jr. Hello, Mr. Hamilton. Oh, but hello, Harry. What are you doing out here without a car? Well, I just took a notion. Say, uh, could you, I mean, are you going into town? Right, sure, hop in. Well, look, i got a friend with me. Would it be oh, all of course. Sorry. All right, Janie, come on. Get in. Janie! I'm, uh, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. How do you do? I'm sorry, Janie, this is Mr. Hamilton. Oh, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. How do you do? Well, uh, hop in. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. Here we are. Thanks a lot, Mr. Hamilton. That was nothing at all. Good night, Jenny. Mr. Hamilton, I, uh, uh, Mr. Hamilton, I, uh... I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, I guess that was pretty lucky, huh? <laughs> Good night, Harry. What do you mean, good night? <laughs> and you said I'd never get a chance to meet him. You don't call that meeting him, do you? He didn't say a word to you all the way here. We were properly introduced by a mutual acquaintance. So you better go home and revise your statistics. No. Good night. Janie, wait. Go to sleep, Janie. I'm not tired. Go to sleep, Janie. Engaged to Tom, engaged to Harry, Richard Hamilton Jr. Mmm, who's pretty? There she is, Mrs. Richard Hamilton Jr. I remember the day I married them. It seems like yesterday, except they have three children now. Lovely brats. Bring on the stately mansion. Bring on the brats. Major! Major, dear, is it true that you are what? Telephone operator? Major, dear? Why, that is the silliest gossip I've ever heard. It's absurd. It's long distance. Oh! Major! Isn't she dazzling? Look at all the people looking at her. Everybody wear your sunglasses. I'm too dazzling. I'll blind you. Just one more picture, Mrs. Hamilton. Just one more picture. Just one more, Mrs. Hamilton. She's the same sweet, unspelled girl. You mean you knew her when, Gertrude? Of course I knew her when. What was she like when she was when? The same sweet, unspelled girl. Hey, take my picture. Take my picture. Take my picture. Take a picture and everybody gather around. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to our guest of honor, a woman of unspeakable beauty, of simple graciousness and blushing modesty, Janie Hamilton. Janie Hamilton! Janie, my darling. Richard, sweet. Janie, you are the most beautiful woman here. You are the most beautiful woman anywhere. And to think I might have married Brenda Whitney, Jr., Columbus Fire, 0098. Columbus Fire, 009 and 8. He does not answer. This is Richard Hamilton Jr. What do you think, Jamie? What do you think? Oh, Jamie, wouldn't that be grand? <laughs> was the act two curtain of your radio theater. We'll get on with the third act in just a moment. Right now, Harry James and his music makers take over, and with lovely Helen Forrest vocalizing, they're all set to go. Here they are. Curtain rises on the third act of Tom, Dick, and Harry. Engaged. I'm engaged to Harry, but Richard Hamilton Jr., mmm, he's pretty. Engaged. Mm. Engaged. That's the substance of Janie's dream, and the problem is becoming a little too much to handle. But now the dream is over. 
part of it has come true. For Richard Hamilton Jr. has called Janie, and they're out on a date. Not an ordinary date, either. For Mr. Hamilton, modern knight of the shining airplane, has flown her to a nightclub in Chicago. Golly, how did I get here? Magic carpet, wings of love. <laughs> you suppose we'll be home by 12 o'clock? Well, what happens at 12? Do you turn into a pumpkin? <laughs> no, no, but you should be over by 12 o'clock because you're a birthday party. Beg your pardon? You're Jenny Shapiro's birthday party. That's where I told my mother I was going. Oh. <laughs> well, here's to Jenny Shapiro. May she live long and prosper, and may her party last forever. <laughs> Tell me, are you married? I don't think so. Why? Well, just wondering. <laughs> I'm not married either. Hmm? I'm not married. Oh, well, <laughs> congratulations. Uh, do you see anything on the menu that you'd like? Oh, I think I'll have some um, lockers. Oh, <laughs> why don't you order for the both of us? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I suppose you think I've never been in a restaurant like this before. Why, on the contrary, I'm sure you have. Well, I have. Well, that's what I said. I've been proposed to. You have? I've been proposed to twice. Two different fellas. You're a lucky girl. But I'm not married. <laughs> More champagne, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does it whenever I drink champagne make me sneeze? <laughs> well, there's no accounting theme. Oh. I suppose you think I've never had champagne before. Now, why should I think that? Well, I have. All right. Lots of times. Say, did I ask you if you were married? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did I say? I said no. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's about three. Oh, that's good, because I don't have to be home till 12. Okay. Sorry, me. Look out, everybody. Here I come. Am I too heavy? 
Why, you're as light as a feather. <laughs> hello, Janie. Oh, uh, hello. Oh. Hi, <gasps> Janie. I think maybe you better let me down. Easy. Sure. <laughs> well, what do you mean by coming around and making a scene? <laughs> I'll get to you later. Janie, I want you to tell this Harry guy here who you're really engaged to. Him. Him? Who? Mr. Richard Hamilton, Jr. Well, well, what about me? <laughs> I'm engaged to you, too. What? <laughs> you, you mean you're engaged to both of us? I'm engaged to all three of you. But well, you can't be. <laughs> Why not? You all ask me. Janie, look, can I see you alone for a minute? No, you can't. You don't have to raise your voice. Janie, if you were really engaged, you might have told me. Well, I don't see where it's any wrong of being engaged to three fellas than it is to two fellas. Janie, how could you do a thing like this? Why, well, you just met these two guys. Be quiet and let her make up her own That's mind. That's what I say. Let her make up her own mind. Let her think. Now, her... listen, Janie. Let leave her, her alone. Quiet. Well, quiet. well, well, well. Quiet. What's the difference between the radio and the clothes? Janie. I think maybe you better go on up to bed. I haven't made up my mind. I love you yet. Even. Even. But we could come back later when you're feeling better, Jane. Would you, Dick? Sure. Would you come? Well, it's all right with me. Would you, Harry? Sure, I would. Oh, you're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You certainly are a bunch of wonderful gentlemen. Well, here I go. Don't forget to come back, everybody. Everybody come back for breakfast. I'll be thinking up my mind. Thinking, thinking up my mind. Thinking, thinking, thinking up my mind. Go to sleep, Jamie. Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming up my mind. Me, me, Jamie. Me, Jamie. Me, Jamie. You just met these guys. You hardly know them. I'm your fella. You'll make your ass pony, Jamie. I'll make you happy. Take your fishing. Me, Jamie. I'm your fella. Airplane, Jamie, all your life. Me, Jamie. Take your fishing. All your life. Me, 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 me. me. You, Jamie, take these three fellows to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. And you three fellows take this girl to be your lawfully wedded wife. We, we do. do. I now pronounce you the only solution. Goodbye, dear. I've got a rush, dear. I have to sell a million cars today. I owe all my success to you. Wait. I have to go buy a new airplane here, but I'll be home early and we'll fly to Chicago. No, no way. I'm staying home, dear. Somebody has to keep you happy while they're away. No, just a minute. This is ridiculous. I can't be married to all three of you. Well, then, make, make up, up your mind. mind. Make up my mind. Make up my mind. Make up my mind. Make up my mind. right here. Thank you. Well, I, I don't know what anybody else thinks, but I think he's exciting. Don't you, Father? Huh? Don't you, Butch? Mm, I know which one I take. Thank oh, you, Butch. But... <laughs> here she comes, ready or not. Any bets, fella? Quiet. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, go ahead. Which one is it? Um, Tom, you're a wonderful fella. Gee. Any girl would be lucky to get you, but we're not right together. You ought to marry the boss's daughter. Oh, Harry, you're one of the most interesting fellows I've ever met. And one of the nicest. But you're crazy. Oh, sure. So I'm awfully glad to have met you. No trouble. Dick, we don't move in the same circles. But you're what I've been dreaming about all my life. So if you still want me... I'd be very happy to be Mrs. Richard Hamilton, Jr. Jane. Oh, Jane, give me a <laughs> oh, my little girl. Congratulations. <laughs> Darling, let's not wait any longer. Let's drive to Gretchen and get married right now. Right away? Yes. Well, all right, Mom. Oh, all right, Mom. Sure, go right ahead. Go ahead, Clamp, and get my coat like a good girl. All right. Goodbye, boys. Bye, Take bye, care of my boy. Bye. She's always got Except Butch. Another three years, and Butch will really surprise you. Thanks, Mom. Don't drive 
Goodbye, Tom. 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 Go